Benfica will welcome Ajax to Portugal and Ajax have just been thriving under Eric Ten Hag. They've scored goals by the bucket. They've scored over 100 so far this season across all competition. But Benfica, they've scored in every home game uh, since October. So, Jimmy, we're expecting to see goals in this one, aren't we? But the question is, who is going to score more, do you think? Well, I'm going with Ajax here, Poppy. They had a 100% record in the group stages. Six games, six wins, incomplete cruise control. And then when you look at their form domestically, they're on top of the era of EC. They've played 23 games, everybody. They've scored 70 goals in those 23 games and have only given up five. Now, people will be like, oh, well, the era of EC is not that strong. You can only play the teams that are in front of you, and they're doing it with so much style and class. They have their identity on both sides of the ball, and that's why their manager, Eric Ten Hag, is being sought after by some of the biggest clubs around the world because he's so good at what he does and getting his team organized. And then when you add in this organization with some talented players, we're talking Dusan Tadic, the captain, who is unbelievable. Anthony, the Brazilian, on the other side of Sebastian Allaire up top, who is leading the Golden Boot in the Champions League. Ten goals in his first six Champions League games. This is all one-way traffic. Now, when I think about giving some kind of narrative to Benfica, I was like, eh, well, they got Odomendi and Vertonghen as center backs. Yeah, that doesn't help. Those guys are old and they're slow and I think they're going to get punished. So this is all Ajax all day and this should be fun to watch to see how many goals they can score. <laughs> yes, Jimmy, I totally agree with you. And also with Edison in the middle of the bar, Beggies and class and players who know how to uh, hold the team, try to give that balance, that a team that is so attacking uh, in every single minute of the game and likes to co uh, commit players are front unit players who can give you the balance, who can hold the other team to make a transition. And those are important teams, uh, important players. But uh, we have to be very careful. Uh, Rafa Silva has been amazing for Benfica, 15 has seen seven goals. And also uh, that win that, as you all remember, when he played against Barcelona, he was flying from that uh, left wing. So be careful with it because they also have uh, important players up front. They are a team who is very effective, very intense, very dynamic. So if you open a little bit, and Naya is going to do it because the way they play, they can be very dangerous. Jan Mtug is going to be up front waiting to have any chance to score a goal. So it's going to be, of course, very open game. But definitely for me, I think Anaya has got everything to get the, the first win. Yeah, I'm really intrigued by this game. Uh, Boa Vista caused a bit of problems for Benfica at the weekend. Benfica really should put that game to bed. They were 2-0 up. should have been 4-0. Two goals were chopped off for video review offside calls. Um, but they looked dangerous in the first half. And then all of a sudden, second half, Boa Vista came back into it. And it made me think, you know, maybe they're not as good defensively as we think they are, Benfica. And that's a problem going up against this Ajax side who won all six of their games. They scored 20 goals. Only Bayern Munich scored more, by the way. 20 goals in the group stage is so, so impressive. Um, and they also had a bit of problems at the weekend against Willem Tui. It was an interesting game. Obviously, we know there was a lot of storms over in Europe and there was rain, there was wind, um, but it wasn't raining goals for Ajax against Willem Tui. They had to fight for it. 81st minute and Timber got the goal and he used his thigh to put it in. But they, uh, they caused all sorts of problems for Willem Tui. They weren't at their best. They were lacking a little bit of concentration defensively, especially Daily Blint. But um, I think going forward, they are just such a danger as the boys just mentioned there Tadic, uh, Anthony, just absolute ballers, playmakers, creators but it's all about Sebastian Alea for me, when he plays and gets his opportunities in front of goals, he's been punishing, 28 goals across all competitions this season, 10 in the Champions League, if Benfica want to win this game, find a way to stop Alea